Authentic exam learning resources. In this session, uh, we'll be uh, seeing the uh, matrices of the EC2 instances which we have launched in the previous session. So this is our EC2 instance which is running one running instances. Okay, so here you can see the status checks about this. Create status check alarms. You can create it if you want it. You can create it and uh, accordingly the action will be taken. So let's uh, not create right now okay and um, let's go to the cloud watch uh, first and then see this is the cloud watch and uh, go to the um, browse matrices which being created so this is the browse matrix so for our ec2 instance we don't have created any uh, rds instance no no dynamo db instance nothing else so we have just one ec2 instance right now and abs volume attached with this so this two matrices has been created yet uh, if we have created any custom matrix then also would be visible here like for the ram checking how much memory is there so for this like how to create custom matrix i would suggest go to this particular page from the amazon web service monitoring memory and disk matrices for amazon ec2 linux instances and create the a custom matrix the step by step it uses the Perl script so you can use it uh, before that you have to create a one a role okay so which can post matrices to the uh, um, cloud watch so without uh, a role you cannot uh, so we'll be seeing how to create the role about the to posting a matrix from this instance to like uh, let me tell you what exactly I mean here okay so this is the EC2 instance is running this EC2 instance is running and this is the CloudWatch monitoring system from of the Amazon. So now it has to post this matrices, correct? Like uh, CPU utilizations or whatever you, not exactly CPU utilization, I would say your custom matrices like RAM uses or anything want to post from this to oh, this CloudWatch monitoring system. So you need to have a one role to be created so if this because the particular role which has permission to post to the cloud watch if if you don't create any role so we, the, you cannot post the mario custom matrices from ec2 instance to the cloud watch monitoring system so you want to post every minute or every five minute okay if you use five minute matrices then it's a free there is no charge but if you need detail monitoring for every minute then that that, that would be charged so please uh, enable accordingly if you wish okay uh, if you need to pay if you need to detail monitoring else use the five minutes monitoring so you need to post this monitoring like my ram uses every five minutes to the cloud watch so once it is posted to the cloud watch using the or dashboard when we open the dashboard it can show us the uses of the memory or something like I'm just showing the graph but it can be showing in a so this is the dashboard actually uh, which I'm talking about so this is the dashboard mm, okay so not we have not created sorry dashboard dashboard we have to create it uh, let me give the name uh, to pick down create a dashboard you can create it and then accordingly you can watch it here matrix graph uh, for ec2 create visit okay so you can create y axis x axis ec2 instance um, so okay sorry uh, <laughs> So you can see here like uh, if I were to select all so it can show you in the graph format what is the CPU utilizations what is the CPU uh, balance disk read operations and etc so this is available in the different color so rather than selecting all clear it and select few so it will show you the graph accordingly okay so three matrices so this kind of dashboards you can create it so i'll just cancel it i'm not going to create the dashboard here okay mm. so this dashboard is created actually okay so uh, okay let's go to the cloud watch and browse the matrices so here we can browse the matrices which for uh, 
so this is ec2 instance so you can see your cpu utilization disk read write disk network related things status checks etc you can browse it here so so here like without creating the dashboard even you can see the graph okay but you can create the dashboard your custom dashboard actually which i have created similarly here so what i mean to say here if if you want to uh, send the custom matrices from your ec2 instance to the cloud watch you need to have created the role that role is i am role or uh, this air uh, that identity and access management role like which give you the permissions this ec2 instance like to watch, send the matrices to this cloud watch system so and the, the very important questions here in the, for the exam perspective is whenever you create the ec2 instance if you need to create uh, or assign the role uh, at the time of before the instance you have launched like during the configuration if you miss the creating the role then you the, that uh, then you have to re recreate the instance and relaunch the instance that the instant won't be able to so like in our case we have not create uh, if we go to ec2 instance uh, we have in this instance we have not created any role kind of thing so we cannot post the matrices from using this uh, ec2 instances uh, we want to create the custom a uh, custom matrices so uh, that's the reason uh, uh, this i am role you can see here this is the empty now i want to assign the am role is not possible actually i need to relaunch the instance re i need to recreate the instance to uh, uh, create the role so that's a very important point for the exam perspective uh aws certification perspective remember like if you want to assign a role do it when the, you are recreating the instance after once you have created instance it won't, won't be available to you okay that's all about the cloud watch monitoring and uh, uh, and uh, I would suggest you do this exercise like uh, if you really want to create the custom matrix like there is a Perl script is given and the step by step it's like you follow it you can definitely create the custom matrix and send the custom matrix from EC2 instance to the your uh, cloud watch monitoring and you can see the actual monitoring uh, that's all. so now go to the uh, quicktechie.com click the register and the register and the go to the free training you can access all the videos we have published on aws qt, QT video link and you can watch the uh, video and even not only video you can get the relevant content from uh, also posted here under the, the same video sections so you can use it you know, for this uh, so let's just click on this and this will open it so this uh this is our material and this training is provided by the hadoopexam.com okay so hadoopexam.com provide the material for the hadoop certification practice questions so these are the practice questions provided by the hadoopexam.com so various learners are using since last over two years of this our materials and they are clearing the exam so this many questions are there so thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session if you're watching this session on youtube don't forget to subscribe because we are launching the more and more sessions and you will get the alert uh, once we launch the new sessions. Thanks. Thanks for watching and I am stopping now.